I speak it, though I speak it. Larry, it's an old fella, 70 some years old. He's not a danger to society, like they say. Larry also has uh, the, the leadership to go out there and tell all these individuals, hey, stop the gun violence, let's put our weapons down. And as he did the gang disciples, he can run uh, the same thing when he first get out, when he get out and say, listen, let's do that. But they don't want him to do that so they can get a lot of more people getting killed, shot, and all these gang violence. Uh, because they know what he brings to the table as far as when he go out and start letting everyone know to stop. With the Larry Hoover case, it's, it's, it's kind of, as they say, like a red flag, right? Because he got, uh, he got 200 years. And then uh, they sentenced him again at the, what, a 17-year investigation about him uh, <laughs> running a, a whole, supposedly run a whole drug scheme from inside and out. Right. Billy stated that he uh, did drugs behind the wall, he's making $100 million a year behind the wall. That's a lot of money, $100, $200 <laughs> a year. You know, as somebody would do something like that, man, they ain't no joke, you know. But <laughs> right. They made him look like he was uh, this uh, Al Capone uh, or this mm -hmm. uh, uh, other prisoner. What's his name? Uh, uh, the one that escaped from uh, John. You know what I'm talking about. The one that escaped. Yeah. El Chapo. El Chapo. Oh, yeah. They, El they, Chapo. They, 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 they think he's El Chapo or something. How you going to be El Chapo in prison? She El Chapo can't even El Chapo in prison. You think, you think he going to do it? Come on. He's a black man. man was, how much power do he got as a black man? Paul, you gave me chills when you mentioned El Chapo because I was in Zacatecas the week that he escaped. I can't go into further detail, but uh, ooh, chills right wow. there. So uh, to answer your question, sir, so I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of Sidney Powell, a very famous prosecutor, and she wrote several books about federal prosecution. And what she said is so true. There are few people in the federal government as powerful as United States attorneys, federal prosecutors. They know two things. Number one, they know that 99% of the citizens in America don't know squat about their, their constitutional safeguards. Number yeah. two, they know that at the federal level, 95% of the cases are pled out why people don't have the money to withstand a federal trial. And number three, they know that they can break the law knowingly and there's no accountability because people don't really have a pathway to hold a federal uh, prosecutor accountable. You got Sidney Powell, John Fitzgerald, and all these government officials saying what happened to Larry, what's going on. Oh, it's a done deal now. Light bulb now, now, yeah. now they like, oh shit, get Larry out of here. They might have a next episode. Yeah, the Paul. You know, I appreciate you so much, man, uh, because, uh, you know, when I found out about you and, and, and your lovely wife for Second Chance, that actually blew my mind right there. Now you got Forgotten Prisoners. It's, it's, it's even doing even better. So I appreciate both of y'all, you know, for uh, reaching back out to me. I appreciate you, Mr. Uh, John, for uh, coming on the show and, and, and giving us a little bit more insight for our as the... Uh, terms that we can use and insight given us. So I definitely appreciate